My name is David Donovan. Uh, I own Junk King Denver North and South. Uh, we've owned it actually for a few months. Uh, I was the general manager for about six years before that. Wow. Uh, Junk King's changed my life a lot. Uh, I, I think it's kind of a weird culmination of all the past careers I've had with, with sales or customer service. Um, even for my photography degree, I think it all kind of like melds into one to create this this weird like ecosystem that doesn't exist anywhere else. Um, it's probably the only job I've ever had that I, I truly love. I like going to work every day. I can't say that about any other job I've ever had. Uh, even on the bad days, I still still really enjoy it. I say that a lot, but it's it, it's true. Um, it's it's definitely improved. Um, just I think the way I deal with people, because I think my employees are pretty pretty varied and from different backgrounds. So that's certainly changed my even just management style um, from working in like restaurants or running bars before. It's changed quite a bit. And then obviously just the the community aspect. Um, we get to deal with people from all walks of life, so there's not really like one particular type of client or customer we deal with, so it's just this weird, ever-evolving, ever-changing thing, so quite a bit. No, but honestly, I think it's just like the, like you can call it networking even though we're all part of the same system. I mean, that's probably just the, the best part of it is just the little snippets you get from conversations with people. It might be something you didn't have any, any intention of taking away from it. Um, someone says something offhand and you're like, wow, that changes my entire thought about the way I you know, perceive something. So I think that's probably my, my favorite part is just the networking or call it fellowship, whatever you want to call it. Uh, honestly, uh, we're really into motorcycles. That's like probably my main passion and hobby aside from, you know, family and work. Um, there was a 1968 Bridgestone motorcycle. I didn't know Bridgestone ever made motorcycles. Um, yep, yep, apparently they did for a couple of years. So there was one that was pretty intact and uh, definitely not running whatsoever, but just to see this like, thing that probably only a thousand were made of was was pretty cool.